Hey guys, what's up? Shadowlands back for another commentary. Today I wanted to cover something really interesting that's been on a lot of your minds recently. I've seen a lot of comments about this, and it's a kind of controversial topic that kind of goes both ways. So I realize that a lot of you guys are going to have different opinions over this, but let's dive right into how to make a change in the Combat Arms community. So alright guys, today I have another semi-controversial topic as I've said. A lot of people realize that something isn't right with Combat Arms. It has this weird feel to it that other games don't have that make it feel almost hostile. Now that of course is not how a leisure game should ever feel, and some of you want to do something about it. I've seen it in the comments and the way you guys respond. There are several ways to go about it, both large and small scale, so that's what I wanted to go over today. How you can make a change in Combat Arms, as an individual. First off, if you want to make a change in the community on a large scale, you really do need a large audience. It's hard to make a large change, and even harder to make it quickly. However, it's not impossible. The best way to do it, and this is quite self-critiquing, is through YouTube. I hate to say it, but the people with the biggest influences on the game that are not involved with Nexon directly are the YouTubers that support the community. It's the largest outside of game uh, community that there is really, especially after a lot of the websites have died down. A lot of people watch our videos, look up to us, and so it's our job to help the community and work with you guys, and that's kind of what I'm doing here in this video. Speaking broadly, the best way to do it is through commentaries. You can't change the world with a gun review or a montage. Sorry editors out there, but your montages aren't creating any breakthroughs on this front just yet. That being said, that would require a lot of time, work, and resources that many of us don't have. So there's a slower but much easier way to go about changing the community, one step at a time. Kindness spreads like a disease, and that is such a cliche, I realize that, but hatred does too. And here we are now, the game is heavily infested with the latter, the hatred part, and not enough of the former, the whole love and friendship part, all that like stuff that Martin Luther King Jr. was all about. It's our job as the mature individuals on the game to be the bigger people and actively work to make the game a better place. Don't influence trolls, ignore haters, and treat others the way you want to be treated. I hate to give a bad analogy, but the phrase, words can never hurt you, is a fat lie. The Holocaust happened because of one man's words. And I mean, hell, the opening lines of Modern Warfare 3 are all it takes is the will of a single man. And that works both ways, it can mean destroying the world like Makarov meant it to, or it can mean making an online gaming community that's ruined by years of strife a better place. To quote my elementary school counselor and end this video, the choice is yours. And it really is true guys, every choice you make affects everything else. Hope you guys keep that in heart and thank you for watching this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Shadowlands, out. Round start.
round start. Round start. 